Let me tell you something. It doesn't mean that we need to be ignorant either. We need to use the wisdom of the Lord. We need to follow the ways of the Lord. And we see Paul struggling. I wonder who's struggling today. What is it that you want to do, but you just can't do it? Well, I sure would like to, uh, I sure would like to pray more, Joe. We'll pray. Ask the Lord for the empowerment to pray. If, if he lives inside of you, the power to do those things are there. We just got to access the power. If he lives inside of you, you see this, this struggling performance of the Apostle Paul, it, it causes me to evaluate my own struggling performance. Why am I always slipping up? Why am I always having these thoughts, sometimes negative thoughts? Anybody else have negative thoughts? I'm the only one. I'm telling you, we can be going down the road and I just have to start just, everything's negative. Just, just negative. Just negative. I'll be honest with you. I don't want that in my life. I don't want to live that way. And I'll tell you what, when I have those struggling thoughts, those negative thoughts, I got to catch myself. The Bible talks about in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 to bring every thought captive to the Lord. If you find yourself having a negative thought, a judgmental thought, if you find yourself, monitor your mind. Hey, listen, bring it down, drag it down to the canvas. Say, I ain't doing that. I'm not going to live like that. Be more than a conqueror. Here's how you do it. I see the, I, I, I see the, the struggling of my performance. I see the uh, opponent that I'm constantly dealing with. Same opponent you are right here. Paul says it's sin that dwells in me. It is sin. That's my opponent. In verse 17 and verse 20, look in your Bibles. That's where it's at. He's, he attributes his struggling to a, a, a residue of sin in his life. And he says, I keep slipping up and I keep stumbling. And, it says, and he says, my opponent is sin. It's sin that dwells in me. And then he brings him to this place. Who is going to deliver me? And he says, thanks be to Jesus Christ. You see that in the last verse of chapter 7. Thanks be to Jesus Christ who delivers me. Is everybody still here this morning? Some of you are defeated. You're living a defeated life. God hasn't called you to that. I want to tell you something. Be more than a conqueror. Here's how you're going to be more than a conqueror right here, and I'm going to finish. Set your mind on things that are above. That's what it says in Romans 8. This verse right here, verse 5. For those who live according to the flesh, set their mind on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, things of the Spirit. Do you have a carnal mind or a spiritual mind? The Bible says you have the mind of Christ if you're a believer in Christ. You have the mind of Christ. Think God thoughts. Say, Lord, give me your thoughts today. God, I don't even know what to think today. God, give me your thoughts. You think he won't do that? I want to tell you something. If you're seeking him... He'll give you his thoughts. And you know what his thoughts do? They guide your path. And the Bible says right here in these chapters, it says in verse 14, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. There's some affirmation right there. Are you a son of God? Are you a daughter of God? For as many, and it's a present participle, it says, For as many as are continually being led. How often do I need to be led? Day by day? I will tell you something. You need to be led moment by moment. Somebody say amen. Amen. I do too. Moment by moment, I need to be led by the Spirit of God. And it's incredible affirmation. Everybody else around me might not understand it, but I don't care. I want to be led by the Spirit of God. And you know what He's going to lead me into? He's going to lead me and you into a victorious life. He's going to lead us into a more than conquering type of life. And let me ask you this morning, do you live a defeated life? Or are you trying? Are you striving to live a more than conquering life. I want to tell you something. You know, you can tell when somebody, when a boxer's struggling. I'm going to finish with this. You can tell when a boxer's struggling. There are signs. Y'all know what the signs are? If you know what the signs of a boxer struggling are, raise your hand. Some of you do, right here. First sign right here. Pam even knows. Pam Young. Pam, you watch boxing. Jean. She'll put the rope of dope on you. first sign that a boxer's struggling is just right here. They open up their mouth. They start breathing out of their mouth instead of the nose. Second sign that they're struggling, their hands go from up here to down here. They have, they have left their defense. Third sign is they start leaning on their opponent. They start leaning on their ropes. That means that boxer is in struggle, that struggling. And I want to tell you something. There's a lot of believers today. They are leaning on the wrong things instead of Jesus Christ. Struggling in life. Maybe you're struggling this morning because you're leaning on the wrong thing. Maybe you're being beaten down because your defenses have gone down. What about that? 
I want to tell you something. I want to invite you to get up off the canvas today. Jesus Christ, he stepped into the uh, ring with his opponent called sin. You know what sin did? Sin knocked Jesus out. Knocked him smooth out. And Jesus laid down there on the canvas of that ring for three days. And then on the third day, Jesus got back up. And you know what he did? He totally destroyed sin. He totally destroyed death and hell. Has no power over us. I want to invite you this morning to give your life to Jesus. Being more than a conqueror, yet it has all to do with the indwelling presence of the Holy Spirit. But it begins by giving your life to Him. I wonder if there's somebody here this morning, you've been beaten down so much, you just need to give your life to Him and be saved. We're going to be down here at the front. You don't have to come by yourself. You can give your life to Jesus today. You can begin a journey of being victorious in Jesus Christ. I hope that you'll do that. Ask the Lord. Say, Lord, I pray for an affirmation. The Bible says, His Spirit bears witness with my spirit. Pray for an affirmation this morning that He really does live on the inside of you. Pray this morning this prayer. Lord, this week, help my mind, help my thoughts to go up and not go down. Let's stand together. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time. And God, we're going to respond right now. Lord, I pray that this response, your people, as they've heard the message of being more than a conqueror. Father, I pray, Lord, that you would just, Lord, let your Holy Spirit, God, continue to pull our hearts. Lord, I don't know what decisions need to be made here today. But God, I pray, Father, that we would surrender. That we would just come to absolute surrender and say, Lord, you take over. God, you take over in our life. You give us victory, Lord. Lord, we're not counting on our performance. But Jesus Christ, we are counting on your performance. Through the cross and through the grave. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Just as